him the praise, give him the praise, give him the honor, give him the adoration. Are you not excited that you made the second half of the year? Some stepped into the first half, but they never crossed the first half. Give him the praise. Father, we worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify your holy precious name. Hallelujah. Help me walk to seven people for the month of, for the seven month. Shake hands and tell them, welcome. Welcome to the seven month. Welcome to the seven month. Welcome to the seven month. It shall be a month for you of, of rest, a month of restoration, a month of perfection in every way. In that precious name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor and the adoration. Give him another clap and a shout of victory as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elion. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. And again, if you love the Lord, say amen. You love the Lord, say louder, amen. You love the Lord, shout the Lord more, say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now welcome to the preservation service for the month of July. Preservation service also for the third, seventh month of the year. And all, literally the second half of the year. I'd like to speak quickly. What? The month of July to start with is our month of above only by the force of prayer hallelujah above only by the force of prayer above only by the force of prayer hallelujah anyone who can kneel before god will be able to stand before every devil above only by the force of prayer and in this preservation service we are going to be looking at preserved by prayer preserved by prayer dash the ministry of the master preserved by prayer the ministry of the master our objective is to understand the preservation power of prayer from the ministry of the master the preservation power of prayer from the ministry of our master jesus text is matthew chapter 6 verse 9 all the way to verse 13 matthew chapter 6 verse 9 all the way to verse 13 he said after this manner pray our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen hallelujah the ministry of our master was characterized by very unusual shield of protection defense not just because he is god but because he pulled certain spiritual triggers that guaranteed such level of preservation if you look in the bible in john chapter 14 verse 30 he gives us the story of his preservation. He said, Here, hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. The prince of this world cometh and is helpless about me. Satan, the devil can do nothing about me. That's him. That was the, Jesus speaking. In John chapter 10 verse 17 and in verse 18... He spoke and he said, Therefore does my father love me. Because I laid down my life that I may take, I might take it again. He said, No man taketh it from me. No man takes my life from me. I lay it down of myself. I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. 
I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it. I can do at will as far as my life is concerned. The devil doesn't have the say with my life. Death does not have the say with my life. What an audacity. What a force. No devil, no witch, no wizard. No stray bullet. No wicked power of hell. Take it my life from me. That was Jesus speaking. In Luke chapter 4 and in verse 28, we saw a situation where all of them in the synagogue heard some things that he spoke and they were filled with wrath. And they rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him to the brow of the hill where the city was, was built that they might cast him down headlong. That is, they wanted to carry him to the edge of the cliff and then throw him down from the hill head down. But he passing through the midst of them went his way. The same people that wanted to ruin him and destroy him he passed through the midst of them went his way in john chapter 8 and in verse 59 we saw another story uh, i believe that it was when he said before your father abraham was i am then they took up stones to cast at him but jesus hid himself and went out of the temple going through the midst of them so passed by what a life. I prophesy, I declare to you, all the devils looking for you and looking for your life, they will never be able to get you. In the name of Jesus, he went through the midst of them. He passed through the midst of them, went his way. What could be responsible for such audacious life? For such irresistible, indomitable, indefatigable unfightable, indestructible life. I believe that among other things, the force of prayer was a force in his life, a most potent weapon in the ministry of the master. I believe that prayer was so potent that the disciples were forced to ask him to teach them to pray. They observed his life. They observed his miracles. They observed his resilience. They observed his indestructibility. And they said, oh, no, I, we believe that one of his secrets would be prayer. So in Luke chapter 11 verse 1, we see the disciples asking, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples, not teach us how to pray. But teach us to pray. Put us inside the act of prayer. I believe that somebody in this season and in this day, God is going to do something in your life that is going to make you indestructible. Say a loud amen. And then it, it, it began to teach them to pray. Not how to pray, but our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In that verse 4, or verse, the, look, the, the, the looks, in that verse 4, lies a, a very great secret of prayer. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. So the platform of prayer is the platform of deliverance from evil. The platform of prayer is the platform of rescue from traps. Lead us away from enemy traps. Lead us away from enemy snares. Deliver us from temptation. The platform of prayer is the platform for the dissolution of evil. The platform of prayer is the platform of rescue from enemy traps. And I stand here by the apostolic and prophetic mantle of God on my life to declare that in this season, every trap that they set for you from the pit of hell, you escape that trap now in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every name, every organized evil for you, your family and your loved ones in the month of July in the third quarter of 2024 and in the second half of the year, I declare it is scattered and shattered in the name of Jesus. Having said all of this, let us go one by one and look at the impact and power of prayer 
in the ministry of the master as it pertains to preservation the impact and the power of prayer in the ministry of the master in luke chapter 9 verse 29 if we're going to read luke chapter 9 verse 29 i might read all the way to verse 33 or 34 he said and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was glist was white and glistering and behold there talked with him two men which were moses and elias who appeared in glory and spake of his disease which he should accomplish at jerusalem but peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep and when they were awake they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him the lord bless his word in jesus precious name what does this say to us number one prayer establishes the climate of the glory it establishes around the life of a man a person the climate of the glory it establishes the climate of the glory the bible said as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered he became glorified the Bible said that there appeared unto him Moses and Elias who appeared in glory, in that glory, in that glory realm. And they saw this in glory. The, the climate of prayer is the climate of glory. And what is the implication of glory? In Isaiah chapter 4 and in verse 5, the Bible said, The Lord shall, and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. The climate of the glory is the climate of preservation. The climate of the glory is the climate of defense. The climate of the glory is the climate of, the, of preservation. So when you are prayerful, you are gloryful. And when you are glory filled you are defended too defended to be destroyed by the devil too defended to be to be to be to be killed by by forces of premature death is god speaking to someone here today the, the man who prays lives in the glory realm the prayer man revels in glory and the glory realm is a realm of indestructibility is a no go realm for the for the forces of destruction is a no passage realm for the forces of destruction is a no fly zone for the forces of destruction i declare today in this month of prayer the glory of god shall be robed around your life and no stray bullet no arrow of witchcraft no stray arrow of disease shall be able to access to destroy you you believe that shall the lord say amen shall the lord say amen prayer establishes the climate of the glory and the glory establishes the defense for the saints. Number two, prayer connects the saints, the saint, with ancient mantles, ancient mantles. Ancient mantles. We saw as he prayed, all of a sudden, there appeared Moses and appeared Elijah. We saw that in verse 31, verse 32 of, of Luke chapter 9. He connects the saint with ancient mantles. They appear in glory. They are talked with him two men. They were Moses and they were Elijah. This happened as he prayed. When you pray, you interact with mantles. Hey, when you pray, you fellowship with mantles, ancient mantles. When you pray, you, you pray, you, 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 you cross into, into the realms of mantles that are, that are ancient. And what is the implication of this? Mantles are the answer to battles they are the answer to battles they are the answer to obstacles they are the answer to oppositions hey mantles are the answer to battles they are the answer to oppositions they are the answer to obstacles it was with the mantle that elisha divided the water of jordan the mantle of his father he stood before that river of jordan i believe it was second kings 
Luke chapter 2, I believe verse, verse 14, 15 there about. And he stood before the water and he said, we are, and he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, where is the God of Elijah? And when he had, he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither and Elisha went over. Mantles are the answers to battles. They are the answers to obstacles. They are the answers to oppositions. Prayer connect the saint with mantles. And there are two things that you will know about mantles. The first is that mantles are the answers to battles. They are the answers to obstacles. And they are the answers to oppositions. The next thing is that mantles guarantee preservation. Mantles, they guarantee preservation. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. In the book of Hosea chapter 12 and in verse 13. Mantles guarantee preservation. Now look at this. Jesus Christ connected the mantle of Elijah and Moses. Let's examine the two. Moses was the man that lived for 120 years before he died. <laughs> Exodus 34 and in verse 7. He was 120 years before he died. His eyes were not dim. His natural force was not abated. Ah. So if you connect the mantle of Moses, who can kill you before your time? Mantle. 120 years. Now, who is Elijah? Elijah was the one that didn't die at all. The one that went to heaven by the chariot. These were the two mantles that the master was fellowshipping with at the mountain of transfiguration. No wonder he could say, no man take my life from me. I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it up again. Hey! He and he said, as my father sent me, so I sent you. John 17, 18 and John 20, 21. I announce to you today, if no man take away the life of the master from him, no devil shall take your own life away from you. In the name of Jesus, I decree the fulfillment of your days, the fulfillment of your destiny in this season, in Jesus name. As we go forward in the month of prayer, I'd like you to take your prayer life very seriously. Because we shall be fellowshipping, interacting, intermingling with mantles. Number two, prayer connects the saint with ancient mantles. And then number three, prayer activates the ministry of angels. The man who prays is surrounded with angelic ministry. If you are going to look at those who worked very well with angels in the Bible like Daniel, he was a man of prayer. Elijah, he was a man of prayer. Angels surround the ministry of prayer warriors. Now look at Luke 22, 43. While the master prayed in Gethsemane's garden. There appeared an angel, an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him while he prayed, while he prayed, while he prayed, while he prayed. You can back up a bit to verse 41, 42. While he prayed, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed. And saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. The place of prayer is the place for the ministry of angels. And what is the essence of the ministry of angels? In Psalm 34 and in verse 7, Psalm 34 and in verse 7, the Bible said, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Angel of the Lord encampeth round about him, them that fear him and delivereth them. The place of prayer is the place for the ministry of the angels. An angelic ministry is, is, is the guarantee of divine protection. He shall give his angels charge over you. They shall bear you up in their hands in case you dash your feet against his stone. Is somebody here tonight? I decree today you shall begin to experience a dimension of angelic ministry you've never seen before in preservation deliverance angels preservation angels that they are your portion in this season if you believe that say it loud amen 
You believe that still, Lord? Amen. I heard a story about the, the minister of angels. A man in the middle of the night, I think it was snow time in America, um, was about to cross a, 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 what, what do you call it, a transaction or something. That kind of place where the roads and the, and, and the rail and the, and, the, and the cars pass. And all of a sudden, this man was coming and all of a sudden, he saw a man stood by the road and just stopped him. And he stopped. The man could... He, 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 that, that was in America. He couldn't move. He just stopped him. He stood there and stopped him. And then, after just like the flicker of a second, he stepped out of the road. And before he knew it, a big train just passed. On, on, without warning. If that guy had continued going, he would have just been crushed to death by the moving train. But he looked around to find who was the one who stopped him just now. And there was nowhere. Nobody was to be found. Nobody was to be found. A man testified some time ago in our church, in the Rewan church in those days, how he was in a, a vehicle in Karu, a motor park, and he think was going to Jaws. And then he, he, somebody stood in front with a white dress and t told him, step out of this vehicle and, and, and follow the next one. And he looked at the person and he stepped out of the vehicle and then and then follow the next one well the story the outcome of the story was not too good but the angel preserved him from death and destruction i speak to somebody here today in the season we are in you are going to experience the ministry of angels like never before you believe that shout the loudest amen shout the lord most amen prayer from the ministry of our master we see that it activates the ministry of angels. Now number four, this is very, very exciting. Prayer triggers the flow of visions and revelations unto preservation. Visions and revelations unto preservation. We saw that in the ministry of the master. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 23 to 28. Interesting. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone in the mountain praying. But the sheep was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves. For the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. From where he was praying, even though he sent them away that they should cross to the other side, uh, and by the fourth watch of the morning, they, they should have crossed longest time. But from where he was praying, he observed that they were in the middle of danger. He observed that they were in the middle of disaster. He observed it. He saw them and he walked on the sea to meet them and interfere with the danger, interfere with the disaster. Hey! The play, the prayer triggers the flow of visions and revelations unto preservation. At the place of prayer, you can see enemy advancement. At the place of prayer, you can see enemy plots and plans. At the place of prayer, you can, you can see enemy strategies. At the place of prayer, and I decree today, your eyes shall be open, your ears shall be open, your understanding shall be open in this season. At the place of prayer, to see the plan of the enemy concerning you, concerning your wife, your husband, your children, your family, in this season, open heavens, in the name of Jesus. It triggers the flow of visions and revelations unto preservation. You will not be blind. You will not be deaf. You will not be dumb. You will not be insensitive in this season in Jesus' precious name. Number five, prayer connects with supernatural power to walk on danger and storms of the enemy. It connects the child or the saint with supernatural power to walk on danger or storms and storms of the enemy. That was what happened to the master. In Matthew 14 and in verse 23, he was praying and from the place and when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray and when the evening was come, he was there alone and then the body ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with, the, tossed with waves for the wind was contrary and then in the fourth watch of the night, he went unto them walking on the sea. Higher! 
from prayer straight to walking on the sea he walked he trampled on danger he walked on disaster he brought disaster under the place of prayer is the place of dominion over the forces of disaster it is the place of dominion over the forces of danger is the place of dominion what sink others you sink them at the place of prayer the place of prayer is the place where you take charge of what of what others take cover from. I decree today you are stepping into unusual power. No wonder God told Jacob while he wrestled with the angel in Genesis 32 in verse 28 he said as a prince you now have power with God and with men and you have prevailed. Prayer gives you the power to prevail over what others travel in. The disciples were traveling in the storm, but he prevailed over the storm because he stepped into the storm from the place of prayer. I decree today, whatever is troubling and tormenting members of your family, members of your household, your loved ones, your brothers and your sisters, you will be the one to humble that satanic agenda by the force of prayer in this month of prayer. You believe it, shout the loudest, amen. You will be the one to humble it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer connects with supernatural power to walk on danger and to walk on the storms of the enemy. Number six, prayer activates the press or flow of the oil. It activates the press or the flow of the oil. Mark chapter 14 and in verse 23 mark sorry mark 14 32 mark 14 and in verse 32 and they came to a place which was named gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit ye here While I shall pray, they came to Gethsemane. Sit here while I shall pray. Gethsemane is Hebrew for the press of the oil. Oil press. Matthew 26 and in verse 36. He said, Then come at Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Gethsemane means the press of the oil. It is at the place of prayer that we press oil out. The place of prayer is a place for the generation of the anointing. And what is the aim of that? It is the anointing that dismantles yokes and burdens. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from all thy shoulder and his yoke from all thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. It is, in, it is by the anointing that yokes are dismantled and we generate the anointing at the place of prayer. I decree today, in this month of prayer, sufficient oil to dismantle the yoke of premature death is coming upon your life and upon your family. Sufficient oil to, dis to dismantle the yoke of strange disease, inherited diseases, inherited disasters is being released upon you. You believe that shout the loudest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number seven. Prayer is platform. Right, we'll look at Luke chapter 22, verse 31 to 32. Luke 22, 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. 
But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. When thou art converted, I have prayed for you. That is in the course of my praying, I saw satanic agenda. But I intercepted them. Number seven, prayer is a platform for the interception of the agenda of the enemy. The platform for the interception of the agenda of the enemy. At the place of prayer, there is the interruption and the interception of the agenda of the enemy. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying and, very, and pray very extensively tonight, even in this preservation service. And I decree in the name of Jesus that at this place of prayer, there shall be the interception and there shall be the interruption of every agenda of the enemy regarding your life and your family and your destiny in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. So what have we said so far? First of all, that prayer establishes the climate of the glory and the glory is for a defense. And then that prayer connects the saints with ancient mantles. And with mantles you tackle battles. With mantles you have preservation. And thirdly, that prayer activates the ministry of angels. And angels encamp around about those who serve the Lord, who fear him. And then that fall, that prayer triggers the flow of visions and revelations onto preservation. It will cause you to, to see things that the enemy is planning. And they can be interfered, interfered with. And number five, that prayer connects with supernatural power to walk on danger and the storms of the enemy. We saw Jesus move straight from the place of prayer to start walking on the water. Hey! Managalayada satayada. Number six, we say that prayer activates the press of, of flow of the oil. And by the reason of the anointing, the yokes are destroyed. And number seven, we say that prayer is a platform for the interception of the agenda of the enemy is the platform for the interception of the agenda of the enemy having said all of this what is my counsel the counsel is twofold number one determine to remain fervent in prayer without fainting determine to remain fervent in prayer without fainting in Luke chapter 18 and in verse 1, he gave a parable, a parable, he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and in verse 17, 1 Thessalonians 5 and in verse 17, he said, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, he said, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, praying always, you must be determined, we must be determined to remain fervent in prayer without fainting. Number two, endeavor to pray true whenever there is the leading or the burden of prayer or the burden of the spirit to pray. Determine Endeavor to pray through whenever there is a leading or the burden of the spirit to pray. Every time you feel an unusual burden, an unusual burden to pray, suddenly you feel like you need to pray. In Romans chapter 8 verse 14, the Bible said, as many as are led, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And then in verse 26, he, we, we see the connection with prayer. And he said, likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for, as we ought, but the spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Do you understand that? That is, the Holy Spirit will lead you, and he will lead you to pray. And he's going to lead you to pray what you have no idea about. That is, there may be situations in the realm of the spirit you don't know anything about. Something the devil is planning to do, you are not, you are not aware. A, 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 an orchestration from hell. All of a sudden, you feel that burden to pray. Separate yourself and pray. Separate yourself and pray. Because two things will happen. I believe it was Ruth Bill Graham who said, Pray. When 
you feel like praying. Because you don't know the opportunity. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. You don't know the opportunity that God may be presenting to you when you feel like praying. Pray when you don't feel like praying. Because you don't know the adversity the enemy may be organizing at that juncture. I'm paraphrasing it. I'm saying it in my own words. Do you understand that? When you feel like praying, that's, that's, that's a great time to pray. And even when you don't pray like, feel like praying, that's also a very, very great time to pray. But whenever there is a burden to pray, you cash in on that burden. So you can join forces with Jehovah to frustrate the agenda of the enemy. Beloved brothers and sisters, it's a month of prayer. And we are going to really, really pray today. I believe that we are going to pray for the next 30 minutes non-stop. And trust God for preservation, for the flow of fire, for the flow of grace, for the flow of preservation. To scatter and damage everything the enemy has orchestrated for us in the month of July. To scatter and dismantle and dislocate and decapitate and amputate everything that the enemy has planned for the month of July. Stand up on your feet and lift your voice and let us begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Psalm 107 and in verse 20. The Bible says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Lift up your voice and pray. Say, Father, thank you for the privilege of seeing another month and the gift of your word to us with power unto preservation to you. Be all the praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say again, Father, thank you for the privilege of seeing another month and the gift of your word to us. Us, with power unto preservation to you. Be all the praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. In Kobaratili Rasavele Kobata Gadia, in Tampura Sakaro Titinia, Elevete Kabele Koba Paparatili Petiko Balagaratala, Epele Rosso Pete Pete Salia, and Don Kopopon Pula Stana Vatai. of seeing another month and the gift of your word to us. Father, we thank you. Church, dynamics, and our members for preservation 
Lord from all evil. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, somebody pray. one to 32 who appeared in glory and spake of his disease which he should accomplish at Jerusalem but Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep and when they were awake they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him declared he said father in this month of prayer we activate divine preservation as we connect with ancient mantles to tackle every battle and opposition in our lives in the name of Jesus again say father in this month of prayer we activate divine preservation as we connect with ancient mantles to tackle every battle obstacle and opposition in our lives lord in the name of jesus go ahead and pray Paparosia, embrando go peke teke te, ikula baragada balagada balagada ba, leko trofe teke teke te, ipapi viti pidi te, iko parasi pi fara, ekala baragada balagada 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 ba, leho trofe ti, leho laga parate, ipapi viti viti viti, ipi fi kupi kiti ki, ipe pe le te, enzum. In Jesus' name we pray. Luke chapter number 22, 41 to 43. And he was withdrawn from them about the stones cast and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Declare this after me. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Okay, beg your pardon. Psalm 91 verse 11. Thank you. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Declare, say, Father, Father. in this month of prayer, prayer, 
we activate the ministry of angels give your angels charge over us for preservation from danger and hurt in the name of Jesus again say father in this moment of prayer we activate the ministry of angels give your angels charge of us for preservation from danger and hurt Lord in the name of Jesus go ahead and pray let Copa ETV and go go by PPT and go Can somebody shout up believe in amen? amen? Matthew 14 from verse 28, from verse 20 to 28. And when he had sent the moth away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. And, and, but straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Someone shout at me, say, Father, in this month of prayer, we receive dominion over the forces of darkness by the privilege of visions and revelations against every plot and scheme of the enemy. Lord, in the name of Jesus, again, Father, in this month of prayer, we receive dominion over the forces of darkness by the privilege of visions and revelations against every plot and scheme of the enemy. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Matthew 14 verse 32 and they came to a place which was named Gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit ye here while I shall pray Isaiah 10 27 it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and he shall from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing lift up your voice and say father in this month of July we ask for the discipline to press at the place of prayer for the release of oil unto 
to preservation. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, again, Father, in this month of July, we ask for the discipline to press at the place of prayer for the release of oil unto preservation. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Help us to generate oil in the place of press. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. We believe God is hearing us to shout aloud, Amen. Luke 22, 31 to 32. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I prayed for thee that I faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Lift up your voice and say, Father, in this month of prayer, we interrupt, we intercept, and scatter every agenda of the enemy against your church, against dunamis, and her members at the place of prayer. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, in this month of prayer, we interrupt, we intercept, we scatter every agenda of the enemy against your church, against dunamis, and her members at the place of prayer in the name of Jesus lift up your voices make that a prayer we interrupt we intercept we scatter every agenda of the enemy against your church, against Tunamis, against our members, against our families. We scatter them at the place of prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Luke 18, verse 1, and Romans 12, 11. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, 
serving the Lord. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Father in this month, in this month of, prayer, of prayer, we ask, we ask for the passion, for the, passion the, fervency, the fervency, and consistency, and consistency at, the place of at the place of prayer for prayer. destiny, for destiny transformation. transformation. Oh Lord, oh Lord in, the in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father in this month, in this month of, prayer, of prayer, we ask, we ask for the passion, for the fervency, and consistency at the place of prayer for destiny, transformation. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voices. The staying power, the fervency, the fire. The Ruka Babati Kato Koko Pataya, Little Retes Ketete, Little Rako Kopena, Letia Shadi, Letera Deer, Letera Deer, No Faventa, Letera Doga, No Smoko, but Fabent in Spirit, serving the Lord, Fabent in Spirit, at the place of prayer, Fabent in Spirit, on our knees, Rakata Babalaga, Rakata Babalaga, I shall not slack in my place of prayer. In Shakwara Katoko, in the Pepeli Agada Babala Gadiga Nababa, Rate, 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 Kokopina, Litwasa Prat, the Luta, and the Kokom Pekati and Tarade, let your name in the Babala Koroka the Babala, Rotam Babanda Kotabanda Kalabanda, Latika Taparate Kepetia, Lita Sadada, Lata Sadada, and let on fire in Katarato the Pirata Labada and Lite Rekete Leke Reke Pepete and Raswa Tapand Letera Shamantam Bukum Papadande Lite Toram Bukos Tapira Lia Toradamande Lite Tekate Bede 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 Shakata Paragada Lite Reke Tepete Reke Tele Reke Dia Rasuta Likuka Panta Kwaska Pradikata, Latiana Basotemba, Lekoma, and Pelu, Sasu, the letter of the Bepeka, the Brekadika Labada, the Ratakanda Bash, Aish Aswatema, the Rakata, the Brekan, the Pitula Karaka, Shakata Baratekemana, Latokom Bridos Kataya, Liteketemi Rodobos, 